Hi everyone! So a lot of you love my animal charm figurine tutorials and I'm not done with them yet. I've got a whole bunch of other animals that I want to make. But anyways, today I'll be showing you how to make this super cute raccoon and I absolutely love how this looks. I love it especially in the pink. I think it's so cute. And on the back you've even got this tail. I'll be showing you how to make an offset tail where it's kind of peeping out onto the side as well as one that's straight onto the back. So it's straight back here. And then as you can see, this one's off to the side, so you can see it when you're looking at it straightforward. So I really love how it's got this huge tail at the back. It's so cute. So anyways, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, and also leave me a comment down below if you have any other 3D animal charms that you have that you want tutorials on. I have a, a unicorn one coming up soon, and then I am working on a hippo as well as a sheep or a goat. So anyways, now without further ado, let's get started. So today you will need any type of loom. Bands in the colors of gray, white, and black um, if you're wanting to make a standard raccoon. If you're wanting to make a, a funky colored one like my pink one here, then you'll need um, to obviously alter the colors. I'm currently filming this on a time crunch. I've been so busy lately and I am rushing to get this tutorial filmed, so I did not have time to count the bands, but if one of you could kindly count the bands for me and put it down into the comments, I will give you credit and put it in the description box down below. So you can always check down there or in the comments to see how many bands you'll need. And you will also need a hook. Today I'm using a Rainbow Loom brand metal tip tuck. All the bands you see here today are from RainbowLoom.com and so now without further ado, let's get started. So first off, we're going to start with our looms. The arrow is pointing down and we are going to start at the top of our loom with the color that we're going to use for the tail. So for this, you're first going to go vertically. Oh goodness, broke on the first one. Try that again. You're going to use double bands for the whole entire thing unless otherwise stated. Then we are going to use double bands again, and we're actually going to stretch it diagonally a little bit farther than you usually would in a bracelet. And then do the same thing to the opposite side. So you should have something like this now. After that, you're going to go vertically in the center. And then we're going to go vertically on all three sets of pins across here. like that, and then do the same thing again, and then the same thing again. So you should have something like this now. And then now we are going to go ahead, take double bands again, and go only vertically in the center. So just in the center here, so all in all your entire loom should look like this. Like that. And then now we are going to go ahead and close this off by going diagonally here. And diagonally here as well. So you have everything closed off at the bottom here. Then you're going to take a single band of a matching color and wrap it around this bottom pin three times. Two and three. Just like that. So now we are going to go ahead and add on our horizontal bands. So and now at this point we're going to use single bands, no more two bands at a time. So you're going to take one single band and you're going to put it across these three pins at the top here. Then you're going to stretch it out slowly, twist it, and then place it back onto itself. So basically you're double looping or capping this band, just like that. So we're going to do the same exact thing to the next three pins here. So put it on the three pins. To reduce breakage of your bands, you can stretch it out a little bit slower, twist it, and then loop it back onto itself, just like that. And then now we're going to put more bands onto the next two triangles here, except we're not going to double loop, you're just going to place a single band across all three and let go and leave it be. And then do the same thing again for the next three, just leave it like that. 
So now make sure your loom looks like this and the two triangles up here should be double looped and then these two are just single. And then all the bands that go vertically here should be double bands, so two bands at a time. So once you've made sure that your loom looks just like this, we can go ahead and get started with the hooking process. So you're going to go ahead, take your hook, and we're first going to go inside the cap band, which are the first three layers here. Then reach inside and grab the next two and hook that over to the right. And then go back inside, grab the next two and hook to the left. So you should have something like this. And then go inside the cap band and hook these bands vertically. And then we're going to hook all these bands vertically throughout. So we're not going to do anything special here. So if you are a speedy loomer, then you can go ahead and speed ahead and hook as quickly as you'd like. So I just hooked these three vertical bands here. And then you're going to proceed and hook the next three vertical bands. There we go. So after you've finished hooking those two sets of three vertical bands, we're going to go up here and hook our last set of three vertical bands. So go inside the horizontal band and hook those bands vertically. Just like that. So if I did go a little bit too fast for you, please feel free to pause the video. But at this point, you should have something like this. And now we're going to finish off the hooking process. Oh goodness, my band slipped off here. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hook this band in the middle vertically. Like that. So you've hooked that band vertically now and we're going to go down here to the bottom left and hook these two bands all the way up to this pin. Like that and then go inside here, grab these bands on the bottom right, and hook those all the way up to this pin up here. So this is a point where you would very much appreciate your middle tip hook because there is a bit of stress on your hook going on over here. So once you're finished with that, you're gonna take your hook, go inside all the bands here and grab the bottom two, and hook those vertically. Get my pin bar back down in there. But anyways, your loom should look something like this. And once you've made sure that your loom looks like this, you can go ahead and remove everything except for the bands on this very top pin here. And so uh, now this is what you should have, a little tail here, raccoon tail. So now we're going to go ahead and start with the head and body. So now we are going to start on the raccoon's head and body, so you're going to completely ignore the tail up here, just leave it on that pin for now. We're going to start with our looms, arrows pointing down still, and start with double bands. Always use double bands unless I state otherwise. So you're going to go vertically first on these pins here, and then still using double bands, we're going to start the head. So you're going to go diagonally here. and then diagonally here. So you should have something like this now. And now we are going to go ahead and we're going to do three vertical bands going here. Using double bands still. And this should be the same color as your tail. Just like that. So now we are going to take a double of the same colored bands and go vertically only in the center. Like that. And then now we are going to switch to our white color or our accent color for the face. And then you're going to use double of those and go vertically on the left and right sides. So you should have something like this. And this is going to give us kind of that stripe down a little, that goes down a little bit farther down to the nose. And then we're obviously going to have the white over here. So that's why we put the white there. Then we are going to use double white again and go vertically in the center. And then finally, to close the face off, we're going to use double bands. Go diagonally on the left first. And then on the right. 
So we've just finished the basic outline of the face here. We're going to add the features on and then these little froofy things on the side later on. But now let's go ahead and get started on the body. So first you're going to take double of your white bands and go vertically in the center here to make the neck. And then we're going to start back with our gray bands again and go diagonally. Oh goodness, broke another band. These gray bands are kind of old. And go diagonally there and then diagonally over here again. So you should have something like this now. Then go vertically here on the left and the right. Still using double bands here. So you should have something like this now. Now we're going to use the color that we want for the belly, which in my case I like to match it with the heads, so that way they can kind of match together. So anyways, I'm going to take double of my white again and go vertically in the center. Then I'm going to use white again, and we're going to go vertically three times here. So double white bands going vertically across all three sets of pins. Like that. So you should have something like this. Now we are going to finish off the body by bringing it back to the gray. So you're going to go three vertical double gray bands, or sets of double gray bands. So, and then do that one last time right here, just like that. So we've now fin almost finished the body. We're going to go ahead and add the little legs now. So you're going to use double gray bands and go vertically only on the left pin bar mm -hmm. and the right pin bar. Sorry, my entire family is upstairs, so all talking. So anyways, let's go ahead and review what's on our loom. You should have something like this now. Let's go ahead and add on the ears and arms and eyes and nose and cheeks. <laughs> so we're going to start at the top of our loom now and I'm going to use a white for the ears. Now this white is not going to be very visible as you can see it's just this white link right here. So you're going to take a single white band put it across these two here at the top of your loom but you're going to stretch it out a little bit, twist it and then fold it back onto itself. So that way you've got a double looped or cap band going across these two pins up here. And then you're going to do the same thing to the right side because obviously this guy's ears has got to match. So double loop that again. Just like that. So you should now have something like this at the top of your loom, double looped bands. Then now I'm going to take two of my black bands right here and going to take one at a time you're going to wrap it around each of these two top pins four times so single black band going across this top pin here one two three and four times okay sorry about that my family will not stop talking so anyways I had a little band slip up right here but I went ahead and fixed that off camera but now we're gonna go ahead and add on the right ear so you're gonna take a single black band again wrap around four times on this top pin here so one two three and four so what uh, once you're finished with that you should have something like this and now we are going to go ahead and add on the cheeks so for this you're going to need your white band. So to make the cheeks we're going to use our hands and hook or hook and hands. So you're going to take a single white band, wrap around your hook three times, doesn't matter the direction. As long as you've got it around there three times. Then you're going to take double white bands and then put those on your hook and slide these three rings onto the double bands here. So you should have something like this now. Then I'm going to go ahead, slide my loom on over, and we're going to stretch these across these two pins right here. So you're going to put the top end on this pin here, and the bottom end on this bottom pin right here. So you should have something like this now. And then we're going to do the same thing for the right side. I just leave my loom out of the frame because my camera has trouble focusing when it's in it when I'm doing stuff with my hands. So wrap this around three times, doesn't matter the direction go all the same direction if you'd like. I just twist mine all different ways. So then you're going to take double bands now, put those on your hook, and then slide these three rings on. Just like that. Take your loom again and spread that across. The top end goes on 
this top pin and then the bottom end with your hook attached goes onto this bottom pin here. So anyways, this is what you should have now. Now we are going to add the eyes, so take a single black band and you're going to wrap it around this pin right here four times. So one, two, three, and four. And then do the same thing right across on the right side. So take a single black band again and go one, two, three, and four. So you should have something like this now. And then we're going to go ahead and add the nose now. So you're going to take a single black band, wrap it around your hook four times, See, that's four. There we go. It doesn't matter the direction, but I like to go in different directions. So you've got four rings on your hook now. Take a single white band, slide that onto your hook, and then you're going to slide these four rings on. If you can't get them all on at once, you can always grab a couple, pull those on first, and then grab the remaining one, pull that on, as long as you get them all on here. So you should have something like this. Go ahead and pause the video if I went a little bit too fast. Then you're going to grab your loom and you're going to put that across this pin here and then this other pin right here. So you should have something like this now. And now we're going to go ahead and move down here and make the arms. So for the arms, you're going to take double gray bands and go vertically on the left as well as the right side. So you should have something like this now. Then you're going to take two black bands and we are going to loop these around these two top pins here three times each. So one, two, and three using single black bands. Then on the other side, do the same exact thing. One, two, and three. So you should have something like this now, and I'll wait a little bit, just in case I went a little bit faster, because I went kind of quick. And then after that, we're going to add our last cat bands down here, which are for the feet. So you're going to need two black again, one for each leg or foot. So wrap this around each pin down here three times. Then one, two, and three. So you should have something like this now when you're finished with everything. And now we are going to go ahead and do one last step of bands. We're going to add bands that go horizontally across our loom. So first we are going to start at the top of our loom. You're going to take a white band first or whatever you used for this color right here. And you're going to stretch that across these three pins here. Single band, no double looping. Then you're going to do the same thing to the next three pins. Single band going across just like that. Now we're going to scoot down our loom here. Now we're going to take another white band go horizontally across these three pins here and then take a gray band go horizontally across the next three and then on the last three here we're going to do something a little bit different. You're going to take a gray band, you're going to put it on the bottom left except you're going to circle around this top pin here. So you can see I'm going around this pin and then place it onto this bottom right pin so you get something like this. So as a full review of what you should have now, this is what your loom should look like. And so anyways, now we are going to do a loom transfer. You're going to take your hook and grab these bands here for the tail. Scoot down and we're going to put this right here. So, what I like, oh goodness, uh, what I like to do is I like to kind of get all these bands on my finger here so I can stretch those around this pin here. So as you can see, this is what you should have now. Oh goodness, again. And so now we can start the hooking process. So uh, first, sorry about the camera, we are going to start with the eyes, so take your hook. And we're not going to go inside of any bands here, you're going to stay on the outside of the pin. And you're going to go ahead and grab as many of those black loops as you can if you have a metal tip hook. If you have a plastic hook, go ahead and grab a couple loops and then pull over the pin and release. And then grab the next few, pull over the pin and release. And then do it until you've got all of them over. 
It doesn't matter how many grab at once as long as you get them all over. So I'll zoom in a little bit more for this next one here. So again, you're going to do the same exact thing. Grab black loops, pull over, and release. Black loops again, over, and release. So this is what your raccoon should look like now. And we're going to go up here and hook the ears. Now I'm not going to zoom out just because um, it might help you guys see a little better, uh, a little bit better. So you're going to take your hook and go inside these cap bands here, and you're going to circle around to the side here, and then pick up these two bands here. Then you're going to carefully pull those off of the pin, make sure not to get the cap band off too. And then you're going to place those on this pin directly below, just like that. So we're going to do the same thing on the right side. Take your hook, go inside these cap band and this this cap band, and circle around and grab these double bands here. Then you're going to carefully pull those off of the pin, and it's okay if your cap band slips off. Just pull that back on, and then pull that off. Slide that on. So when you're finished hooking the ears, this is what you should have. And we're going to go ahead and scooch on down and hook the arms right here. So this is the same exact hooking process. Go inside the cap band, circle around, and grab these double bands here. Carefully slide those off of the pin, and then hook those downwards. Just like that. Do the same thing again. Circle around, double bands here. Hook those downwards like that. So you should have something like this. And now we can go ahead and start the entire hooking process for the body and head. So we are almost done. Hang in there. This has been quite a ride we've been on so far. But anyways, let's go ahead and start. So taking your hook, you're going to go inside the cap band and grab the bottom two bands and hook those vertically. Do the same exact thing on the right side as well. Like that. So now we are going to go ahead and hook vertically as normal up here. So if you are a speedy loomer, you can speed ahead because this part is pretty easy to figure out. Finish the first row here. We're going to go on to the white now. just like that. And lastly, we're going to hook the last three vertical bands in the body. Completely ignore the little arms there, just hook straight onto them. Like that. So we've almost done, oh, we are almost done with the body, so you're going to go ahead and go inside all these bands here except for the bottom two. Grab those bottom two here and then hook those to the center pin, just like that. And do the same exact thing to the right side. So you're going to go inside all the bands except for the bottom two, grab the bottom two, and hook that to the center, just like that. So the body that we finished hooking should look like this. And now we're going to hook the neck, so just go inside all the bands here except for the bottom two, grab the bottom two and hook that vertically going to be a little bit tight because there's a ton of bands there. So anyways, you should have something like this now. Almost done, we just got to hook the face, so grab the top two bands other than the two bands we're inside of, hook those over to the right, just like that. Then we're going to do the same thing to the left. And then lastly, sorry, that was my phone. Lastly, I'm going to hook these bands vertically. Okay, so now we are going to hook the next three vertical bands, but remember these little bands that we put the cap bands on here. Oh goodness, getting my hook all tangled. This right here, we're not going to hook this right here. We are going to go right inside and go all the way down and grab the bottom two bands. So you're going inside everything. Grab the bottom two and hook vertically. So we are not going to be hooking these band, this band right here with the loops on it. Do the same thing to the right side, go inside of everything except for the bottom two. And then pick up that bottom two and hook vertically. Just like that. Then go inside here, 
hook these vertically and then everything is normal now so you can go ahead hook these vertically vertically again just like that and lastly hook these two inwards so hook the left side into the center first and then hook the right oh goodness hook the right side into the center as well and then lastly we are going to hook these bands up here vertically like that so now your loom should look like this and if so we are going to go ahead take your hook grab this bottom band here pull over the pin or the bottom two bands pull over the pin just like that grab the remaining two give it a little tug to tighten and now we can remove everything off of our loom So uh, right after this is hot off my loom, this squirrel right here, so obviously there are some adjustments to be made. So go ahead and try to find the nose here and make that protrude out a little bit more so that we can see that. Then go ahead, stretch everything else out. You're going to go ahead and find the loops here on the side and pull those downwards. That way those loops stick out right here. Then I just stretch everything out to even everything we don't want an uneven face here and I make the raccoon ears more even as well and so now the face looks good body isn't too hard to fix you just gotta adjust where the arms go and stuff and then lastly we've got this tail so if you'd like you can just leave the tail how it is nice and free but I want to go ahead and secure mine like how I did here now on this one here you can see that I secured it straight on the back so that way when you look at it from the front you can't see it as much but when you see it from the side anything near the back you can see the tail you can also secure it so that way it's off to the side a little bit so that way you can see it and I'll show you how to do both so for this you are just going to need one gray band so what you're going to do is go on here to the back of your squirrel and we are going to go ahead and use our hook and hands for this part. So you're going to take your hook and find this white single link right here that attaches right up here to these two gray bands. You're going to stick your hook inside these white layers here. It should be four of them. And then first I'll be showing you how to connect it to the middle. So what you do is you're going to go ahead and kind of sandwich it and find where this white link touches, which is right about this link right here this link here. So you're going to stick your hook inside the four top layers of that link right there. So that way since they match up there. Then you're going to take this single band, slide it through everything and put that end back on your hook and then tie a slip knot like that. So then you've got this secured into the center of your raccoon here like that now if you don't like this loop sticking out here usually you can tuck it in and you can't really tell but you can also take this loop stretch it around the tail and put it through the bottom right there and then you don't have a loop sticking out anymore and you can hardly even tell that that's there so that's how you secure it to the center to secure this to the side you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing stick your hook inside of these two bands or these four layers here then sandwich it to find where it touches the gray bands, which obviously is right here. Then you're going to move over one uh, link to the right, so it's going to be these links right here. So instead of the, the middle links, we're going to go on the links right here. And then stick your hook inside these layers right here, like that. Then you're going to take a single gray band, grab this band here, slide through everything, Put this end back onto your hook and then make a slip knot. And then now we've got this tail sticking out to the side. So you can see that the raccoon tail has it on the side now. Then you can also take this, stretch it around tail, 
and then onto the bottom and then can't hardly tell that it's there. So anyways, now we are completely finished. And so that is how you make these super cute little adorable raccoon charms. So if you'd like, you can also tuck in the slip knot into your um, charm. You can also take your fingers and twist the bands so that way they become super curly and you've kind of got little tuft of hair on top but that takes a little bit of work so anyways don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you out and also hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and find me on all my social media sites linked down in the, in the description box below if you happen to make this please don't forget to post it on instagram to the hashtag tutorials by a because i love to see what you guys have made using my tutorials so anyways thanks again for you all watching this video like i said earlier and i will see you in my next video bye